What's going on guys? I've got a 2006 Ford Mustang here and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the various fuses for the operation of the power windows. Now most of these fuses are gonna be under the hood on the passenger side. You're gonna want to remove the cover for this fuse box. It's just held in by some clips there. And the first fuse I'll point out to you is a small 15 amp fuse right here. Now this provides power to the accessory relay inside the car and I'll point out that to you in a sec. That's basically what helps provide power to um, all of the switches. So if that fuse is blown you'll notice a lot of things not working like your radio, your uh, power locks even. So check that out. Now as far as the actual uh, motors that roll the glass up and down, there's a fuse for each one and this 30 amp J case fuse right here, this one is for the driver side front window motor. That is for the uh, passenger side front window motor. If you've got a convertible, then you'll have two more additional fuses here. So check that out. And I'll go ahead and point out to you, there's another fuse located inside the car and a relay as well. So I pointed out to you that 15 amp fuse that provides power to the accessory relay. That's going to be this relay right there. And when this relay energizes, it sends power through this little 5 amp fuse right here to the various switches. And that's about it. Uh, that covers everything uh, fuse related for the, uh, power, for the power windows here. One thing I will mention to you as well, troubleshooting step I like to do, I like to hold the switch down or up and then open and close the door. And if you find that there's a particular angle at which the window starts to roll up or down, you may have a broken wire in the loom here. You know, this flexes every single time you open and close the door. And so I have seen sometimes the wire can break in there. Um, if that checks out, really the best thing to do is go ahead and remove the door panel. That way you can check to see if you're getting power to the motor or power from the switch. So yeah, thanks for watching and let me know if you guys have any questions.